Hi, welcome everyone. With a population of 100 million people, there are millions of people on the move every day in Egypt. And in order to move the huge number of people from point A to B, you need an inexpensive and efficient mode of transport. That's why Egypt has awarded contracts worth billions of dollars to build three high-speed railway lines across the country. When these lines are completed, Egypt will have the sixth largest high-speed railway network in the world. The impact of the near 2,000-kilometer high-speed railway lines on the economy of Egypt can only be imagined. The contracts were awarded to a consortium which includes Siemens Mobility, a subsidiary of Siemens AG of Germany, Arab Contractors and Orascom Construction. The first line, which is already under construction, starts from the Red Sea port of Ain Sokna and runs west to Cairo, passing through the new Cairo city and Giza. It will then head to 6th October city. After that, it will head north to another port city on the Mediterranean. That's talking about Alexandria. From there, it will head westwards along the Mediterranean coast to New Alemain City and finally terminate at Masamatru. This line is expected to move up to 30 million passengers per annum and also tons of cargo. The high-speed railway lines won't be hauling passengers alone. They will connect many seaports across Egypt so as to facilitate the easy movement of goods. They will connect many industrial areas for easy movement of goods to and from the ports. The rail line, when completed, is expected to cut journey times by half, which translates to about three hours, making the more than 600-kilometer journey from Ain Sokna to Masamatru by road takes more than seven hours. This high-speed line is expected to be completed in 2023. Before we see some numbers about this high-speed railway project, take this moment to subscribe to our channel and enable notification. Thanks. Now to some important numbers you should know about Egypt's multi-billion dollar high-speed railway project. Egypt will build approximately 2,000 kilometers of high-speed railway tracks. The high-speed railway tracks will cover 60 cities around Egypt. The high-speed railway project will provide train access to about 90% of Egypt's population when it is completed. The maximum train speed will be around 230 km per hour. Siemens Mobility, which builds one of the fastest trains in the world, like the Siemens Velaro, which can do up to 380 km per hour. They will equip the high-speed rail network with 41 Velaro 8-car high-speed trains. 94 Desiro High Capacity 4-car regional trains and 41 Vectron freight locomotives. They will also build 8 depots and freight stations. The Egypt High Speed Railway project is the biggest order worth $8.7 billion that Siemens has ever received since the company started some 175 years ago. That's not the cost of the entire project though. Siemens is not building the high-speed railway network, more on that later. It is estimated that about 50,000 direct and indirect jobs will be created by this high-speed railway project. The entire 2,000 kilometers of high-speed railway tracks will be fully electrified and it is estimated that it will reduce carbon dioxide output by around 70% when compared to journeys made by motor vehicles over the same distance. Also included in Egypt's high-speed railway deal with Siemens is a 15-year maintenance contract.
Now, let's see the route of the second high-speed line. It starts from Cairo and runs 1,100 kilometers southwards to Abu Simbel. Abu Simbel is an historic site where they have two temples built by the Egyptian king Ramses II. This line is amazing because it's almost like a straight line. Millions of Egyptians live along the Nile River. So building the high-speed tracks in a straight line will make the trains attain their speed potentials most of the time because there aren't many curves and construction will also be easier. Egypt has been going from one mega project to another. From building the new Cairo city the size of Singapore from scratch, which is expected to open this year, to the multi-billion dollar 2,000 km high-speed railway, which will obviously have an enormous impact on transportation in Egypt. Coming back to the actual cost of the Egypt high-speed railway project, the project will cost $23 billion to build. Out of this huge amount, $8.7 billion goes to Siemens Mobility, which will be used to provide high-speed trains freight trains and others. They will also build network control and signaling systems, huge train depots and freight stations. Some of these depots will have heavy maintenance equipment for the trains. They will provide the overhead lines and of course a maintenance contract that will last 15 years. The remaining amount will be used for laying the high-speed tracks and building of train stations this will be shared among the companies involved in the huge project. It looks like Egypt is getting a very good deal in terms of the cost of building this massive project. The cost per kilometer for building high-speed rail lines ranges from $14 million to anywhere around $50 million depending on terrain and other options. Of course, this cost excludes maglev. Compare that to the 325-kilometer high-speed railway network that was recently completed in Morocco, it cost $13 billion to build. Siemens Mobility also did similar contracts in the Morocco's high-speed railway network, while that of Egypt runs at about $11.5 million per kilometer, that of Morocco starts at $14 million per kilometer. Although this is not the best way to compare the two railway projects because of the many differences in the design of the two projects, but it's just a way to get an idea of the kind of deal that Egypt got in this contract. 2,000 kilometers of high-speed railway for $23 billion is an amazing deal. Part of the reason might be the terrain in Egypt, which is mostly desert. Even in China, the average cost is not less than $70 million per kilometer. Anyway, what about completion time? While all lines will be built in phases, each one is expected to be completed within two years after groundbreaking. The first line is expected to be completed next year, 2023. <laughs> Now, let's see the route of the third line. It will start from another ancient city on the Nile River. Luxor was the pharaoh's capital in the 16th to 11th century BC. Dotted by Luxor temples, the 300-kilometer high-speed rail line will run north to Kina along the Nile River. From Kina, it will head west to the Red Sea coast, linking Safaga with Hugada. Hugada is a beautiful beach resort that stretches about 40 kilometers along Egypt's Red Sea coast. This massive high-speed railway project will boost the already booming tourism industry in Egypt. In the near future, tourists will be able to ride high-speed trains to many cities across Egypt. Alright, we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to our channel and enable notification. Till next time, bye-bye.